Hi, we're planning an upcoming MOOC on edX and we're interested in supporting student groups and uh, collaboration using outside tools. So I wanted to experiment with uh, LTI integration, especially for web apps that don't support LTI themselves. Uh, this is a very quick demo. I'm going to log into edX with an example user and I'll sign up for the example course that we have. And we just have a few uh, sample widgets here. The first one's an iframe. Uh, just shows you that you can uh, embed um, JavaScript. You can get rich functionality very easily. But this um, tool does not get any information from edX about who I am, and it cannot send any information back. So with LTI integration, that is different. So this is a simple HTML form uh, where we collect a bit of information. We might like to group the learners in different groups and this could be much more sophisticated uh, of course um, because we don't get any information from edX about who the user is just a persistent ID we ask um, for their um, their nickname now in the back end I'm just using Redis to store this and you see here this is the persistent ID that I'm assigned by edX for this specific user and I just stored the information that enter, the user entered. So with that information stored I can now go to the next widget um, which uh, simply loads an etherpad but you will see that it's uh, the right etherpad. So if I had uh, written the red group we would see the red group etherpad here. Uh, just as a fun demonstration as well I inserted the time and the username of the user uh, of course, this wouldn't be so useful if we were actually using this for collaboration. But you'll see that all the built-in functionality of Etherpad is available. This is just a simple iframe. Then uh, we might want students to contribute to a knowledge base on a wiki. Uh, and we're going to structure that collaboration by first uh, collecting some information and generating a template page based on that. So we want to um, write about Sky Cinemas, perhaps. Uh, they're tangible and Sky Cinemas um, have huge potential for learning. Right. So when we submit that, it'll create a new um, account in the wiki. It will generate a page based on this template, and it will automatically log me in and send send me to this page. And here you see we're in the wiki. Uh, this is the page that we just generated. Uh, again, the fu full functionality is available. We can edit this wiki page. Uh, we can also see that um, I've been added as a user. And here you see the username that I provided. If I reload this widget, it won't ask me for the template information again. It will simply uh, log me in and take me directly to the page that I generated. The next widget simply takes me to a specific page in the wiki based on the group that I selected. So because I chose the blue group, I get this page, but um, if we go into Redis, we see here that it asked for my group. Um, and if we then change that to the red group and we reload this widget, we are automatically sent to the red page instead. So that's uh, how far I've gotten so far.